Wow, isn't that a beautiful way to start off this video, uh, showing my big fat ass on camera. Anyway, uh, people have asked me why I don't like the PlayStation Move, and wanted me to elaborate on why I don't like it, and, uh, a lot of people have criticized me for saying that it will be a failure. Now, uh, now that the Move has been out for almost four weeks, it's, it's pretty obvious that, um, it's not really gonna go anywhere. And it's due to the fact that most most of the, mostly due to the fact that it's aimed at casuals, but it's hard as fuck to use. Now, uh, the problem with the move is that the majority of games that it's on support the Dual Shock, and anyone in their right mind will use the Dual Shock over the fucking move controller. And the problem with the move on casual situations is that it is retardedly difficult to set up. Like, the the, the great thing about the Wii is that it, it's, it's a no-brainer to use. And not only that, but it's quick and it's easy and it's worth it. A lot of people tell me that the move is more accurate than the Wii. Now, as someone who's used Wii Motion Plus and someone who's been at with the Wii since the beginning, I have to say... I really don't fucking see it. Uh, the lag on move is so fucking um, like tremendous, it's not even funny. It all has to do with the camera. I mean, the fact that the camera has to process colors and has to process the fact that, you know... You see, the, what they don't tell you on the box is that the color of the ball on the move is whatever color is not in the background of the photo. For me, it's pink because I don't have anything remotely close to pink in my background. So that's what the color it chose for me. You don't get to choose the color. It chooses the color for you based on what the camera can read easiest. And in my situation, it's pink. So, th it, this is... There are major problems with this. You see, the, the Wii and the Move have the exact same technology. And that's what people don't understand. The difference between the Wii and the Move in the sense that just the base product is that the Wii does not have an accelerometer inside the controller, whereas the Move both has an accelerometer and it has the camera. Whereas the Wii just has a camera and uh, that's it. And the only, the only way to get the accelerometer is to put Wii Motion Plus at the end of it. And in essence, the Wii Motion Plus and the PlayStation Move are the exact same thing when you have the Wii Mote and the Wii Motion Plus. A lot of people think it's superior based to, on the camera. The fact is, is that it's actually a little inferior because it's all based on lighting, it's all based on perception, and it leads to bullshit like calibration. You see, the, another huge ass problem with the PlayStation Move is the massive amounts of calibrating. I have to calibrate like every once in a while and every single time I enter a fucking sport and sports champions and it, it's terrible. Another thing about the PlayStation Move is that it's all about distance, whereas the Wiimote is a lot... You see, the Wiimote camera, if you didn't know this, there's a camera inside the Wiimote. And the Wiimote camera isn't based on colors. Thus, it does not need a distance from it in order to read you. You see, it reads two lights shot from the television on top from the sensor bar. There's two lights inside the sensor bar, two LED lights that you cannot see. And the Wiimote's camera is black and white, and all it can see are those LED lights. So those two LED lights on the top um, tell it where to go. And that means that distance really isn't an issue. Whereas with the PlayStation Move, it really is an issue. And I know it's due to the fact that the PlayStation Move can read perception because of the camera being the... Uh, you know, prime thing to see you, and it sees the controller rather than the controller seeing the lights, but it's not very practical for anything. Aside from games like Start the Party, you're not going to really see that to be a good instrument for any type of game. Aside from little things like party games, you know, something like WarioWare, you can use it for something like that, like little fun experimental games. But... As seen in Sports Champions, it has a hard time reading how I'm pushing the Wiimote forward. And it has a, a severe, a severe fucking lag. It's like two to three seconds sometimes. 
And you'll see later on in this video the lag that I've experienced with move just in, on the fucking thing. You'll see my hand reaching back and it won't detect it and then you'll see me push it forward and you see these arrows how I'm barely missing. That's because I press the trigger and I, I, it doesn't sense that I pull it out right away. I pull it out and I push forward and it does not sense it. It takes a while and there's a severe one to two second lag in between that. Making, you know, things in sports champions like the Gold Cup and Silver Cup almost entirely un impossible to beat. And the fact is, is that this this can aggravate a hardcore gamer. Now, I know what you're going to say, but it's it's towards so softcore and casual gamers, Samuel. But that being the case, it's such a difficult process to jump into that it would turn off people. You see, one thing I'm going to love about Connect is that... The thing that it senses your body and thus it'll sign you into a profile. You see, M Microsoft is taking a whole different approach to connect to make it as easy and streamlined as possible. One huge ass problem I have with, you know, current gaming, you know, I want to play a couple of games of Halo with my friends, is that I have to put in all these fucking game profiles, you know, they all have to have one, then after I create all those, it's going to take forever to set up. Well, I only have to do that once with Connect, and then, you know, they can all walk in towards the camera and sign in. That's something that will appeal to casuals. But Move takes... No, it's not appealing to casuals at all, because I have to calibrate the controller, I have to, you know, fucking calibrate it for each fucking remote, I have to make sure the remotes aren't the same color, or won't be able to read it right, I have to make sure which one is the arrow, which one's not. It's just complete and utter idiocy and it just makes everything extremely more complicated than the Wii. The reason I say that the Wii is superior is because it aims towards its general audience and it works better. Not only that but it works better in the context of the game because although the PlayStation Move may be more advanced in terms of tech specs it doesn't work in practice as well because the software isn't there and the camera isn't there. The camera is not at the point where it is a not very good quality, two it reads kinda slow, and three I have to like always keep the light in front of me. You see with the Wemo it doesn't necessarily, you see I was not even moving there and my fucking hand on the person was jerking up and down and it, it it's just terrible at reading what I want to do. You see I pulled out here I pulled out the arrow, but I just wanted to hold it back for a minute. But since I accidentally pushed forward a tiny little bit, it sensed me as lunging forward. Thus, I couldn't get my aim properly. And, you know, I couldn't wait to see where the fucking target was going to come up. This has caused major issues. I haven't even been able to pass the f fucking silver tournament. I'm stuck there because of all the fucking lag I get. Now, this may be due to the lighting or whatever the fuck in my room, but that's a huge-ass issue if that's the case. You see, at least with Microsoft, it, it reads infrared, and it can see, like, the, the basic foundations of your body. Whereas the move, it just falls flat on a lot of accounts. It feels like a weird middle step between Wii and Connect that is pretty fucking bad. Samuel out.